Clarion High School is a small town in southeastern Minnesota near Rochester. Our community supported building a new high school six years ago. Our school has about 550 students, 9 through 12, maximizing learning for all. Last year, Byron High School is one of 23 traditional public high schools in the nation to get the National Blue Ribbon Award. We received the award for high test scores in all areas that are state tests. Our high school knew we could not just get the award based on us. We could not perform as well as we were if it was not for a good middle school and high school or elementary school. So we celebrated as a whole district with all students and all staff. Under the leadership of Dr. Shannon, our superintendent, our school has developed a culture of innovation. This culture of innovation grew out of the continuous improvement model. So we, as the whole district, administration, parents, teachers, support staff, are always looking for ways to change and improve. One of the ideas that we have implemented is the idea of the professional learning communities where our staff works together to learn and grow from each other. Byron has also adopted Google Apps for Education. This has opened up new ways for our, our teachers to collaborate with other teachers, students to collaborate with other students, and teachers to collaborate with students without needing to be in the same room at the same time. Another innovative idea our district has is a professional growth academy. Professional Growth Academy is typically four days of training where Byron teachers are trained mainly by other Byron teachers and it's free of charge to our teachers. Some of the topics from this last summer included learning strategies, Moodle training, smart board training, Google Apps for Education, Facebook, digital cameras, and creating your own YouTube channel. While many public schools are waiting for Superman, we are fortunate to have many superheroes in our district, from the school board administration down to the classroom teacher, working to improve student learning. Byron uses five teachers as data coaches to collect, analyze, and interpret local, state, and national test data. To make data meaningful so that all the administrators down to the classroom teachers may make meaningful data-based decisions. Byron High School addresses the needs of all students. We have three programs to address our advanced students. These three programs allow students to earn college credit while still staying in high school. We have AP, College Now courses, and Project Lead the Way. Last year, our students earned more than 600 college credits. We have average students. We have a program to prepare our average students for the state test. And we have senior math. Senior math is designed to help students pass the math placement exam in college so they do not need to take remedial courses in college. And our at-risk students. We have courses for those at-risk students to prepare them for our state test. And we have guided study hall. A working lunch for students with less than 70% in any course. S students are in a separate room which they cannot socialize, use their cell phone, and need to study while they eat lunch. Guided study hall is staffed by teachers to assist these students, plus we have peer tutors that come in to help our at-risk students. Then we have seminar. Seminar is for all students. It's a once-a-week study hall on steroids in which students may choose to attend a math, science, language, or reading or writing lab to get extra help from a teacher or peer tutors. Byron makes use of technology. We have two wireless networks, an unsecured one for students and a secured one for staff. We have our own Moodle server, and many of our staff have been trained in the best practices of teaching with Moodle. We have smart boards in all the elementary and middle school classrooms. Smart boards are in about half the classrooms at the high school. And our district office offers smart board training at various levels every year. Some teachers are using handheld responders in the classroom to gain instant access and feedback to our students. Some teachers are using wireless slates in the classroom to enhance the use of their smart board and their teaching. Ten years ago, the district gave all teachers their own laptops with a three-year replacement cycle on the laptops, which I've really discovered is a way for the district to get more work out of the teachers. 
Bidding adieu to textbooks is the idea of eliminating textbooks. And it all started one and a half years ago with our math department looking at our state standards and looking for online resources. But it officially started last summer and was in full swing this last school year. We had the perfect mathematical storm. We had old textbooks that were not meeting our needs and our students never read and only used for homework problems. Plus, we had no money to purchase new textbooks. Our district had cut more than a million dollars from our budget and we are second from the bottom in state funding. Yet, we've been recognized nationally for high test scores and we had a desire to see these test scores to continue to improve. Our math department is always looking for ways to change and improve. So, the math teachers had the idea of not using textbooks and creating their own curriculum. We had the perfect team. We had a group of innovative math teachers, a very supportive technology person that was more than willing to train our teachers and help us integrate our technology into our classroom, and a very supportive but trusting administration and school board. We knew that we would totally change our approach to teaching and what we'd been doing. We'd been using smart boards for several years and had started recording our lessons and putting them on YouTube. We'd been trained in Moodle and using or teaching, excuse me here, and the best practices of teaching with Moodle. And there are many copyright free materials on the internet like CK12 and we purchased an inexpensive but yet powerful worksheet generator called CUDA. After a lot of time and work, we now have a living, breathing curriculum that can easily change and adjust your students' needs or adjust as their state standards change. Our curriculum fits perfectly with the state standards versus buying an expensive textbook where 30% of the material is not in our state standards. All of our material is housed in Moodle. Each course has its own Moodle site and it lists its essential learner outcomes by the chapter, has our own teacher created videos and links to other videos for students to understand the concepts. We have our homework with our homework solutions and we have links to interactive material to help students better visualize and understand the concepts. Learning is truly occurring 24-7. Through looking at the Moodle reports and surveying our students, we have learned that most of our students are accessing the class Moodle site outside of school in the evenings and weekends, although there's typically not much activity between 2 and 5 in the morning. Our students like not having textbooks and having access to the online resources. Our students like having access to the videos. Some students pre-watch the videos so they can better follow and understand the material as the teacher teaches a lesson in class. Other students will re-watch the videos after the teacher has already taught the material in class to reinforce the ideas of the lesson. Students who are absent from school for any reason are able to watch the lesson and many will come back with their homework already done even though they were absent from school. Also, teachers having their own videos on the Moodle site have discovered that it's become a best practice model since we as teachers can watch and learn from each other teach the exact same lesson without being in their rooms. Students like having access to the solutions. Instead of just wanting to know what the answer is like we've experienced in the past, students are often asking how to go from one step to the next step and engaging in mathematical dialogue with other students and the teacher. The whole dynamics of the classroom are changing. Students are learning how and when they want, and they're not locked into just learning from one teacher who stands in the front of the classroom dispensing information, hoping that students pick up on that information, and students hoping to be one of the lucky ones to catch the material. Notice how many students have their backs to the boards in the front of the classroom. I do have nice straight rows in my rooms, but students come in and rearrange the desks so that they can learn best. As a side note, this particular class happens to be a college level class of which I'm still required to use textbooks, but we still have everything online for them. Byron High School used to ban cell phones in the classroom until partway through this last school year. 
One, we allowed students to bring in their personal learning devices. Personal learning devices are student-owned, internet-enabled devices such as an iPod Touch, a smartphone, a netbook, or laptops. They are often sharing their personal learning devices with others, like two students watching a video at the same time. Each one would have an earbud each, or three students viewing the solutions manual. There does not seem to be an issue of the haves and the have-nots. For those that do not have a personal learning device, our media center is open before and after school and during our 40-minute lunch. And each math classroom has two to four laptops in the back of the room. Plus, this fall, we are piloting classrooms with five additional iPod Touches, iPads, Android tablets, and Nook Colors to see which piece of technology works best for the money. Having all of our videos online has opened up the idea to the reverse or flipped classroom in which students watch the video lesson and learn the material at home. Then they come to school and have class time to work on the math problems where there is a teacher and fellow students to answer questions. Rather than learning the material in school, maybe having a couple of easy problems and getting them done in class, and then going home to start the harder problems and having no resources to help them. Well, here's our local results. The blue is our five-year test average. The red is our average with the videos in the solutions manual and all the online resources. And we are using the exact same tests from the five-year to the new year. In 2006, Byron High School used to be average with the state on our MCA tests. Since then, we've continued to make changes, and our math scores have continued to rise. Byron used to below the, be below the state average on the ACT math. However, we've been continuing to make changes, and these changes are paying off. In 2011, we had more than 80% of our students take the ACT. The idea of bidding adieu to textbooks that we implemented last fall has affected other teachers. Some other departments at the high school are trying some textbook-free curriculums and putting all their material either on Moodle, a Google site, or a wiki for students to have access 24-7. Plus, our English department is implementing e-portfolios. Many of our teachers in the middle school have been trained on teaching with Moodle and are implementing similar ideas as the high school math department. Our elementary teachers are trying age-appropriate ideas to try to get their students to have access to all their material 24-7. In addition to sharing within our district, we have shared this idea of bidding adieu to textbooks at state several statewide conferences and with other districts that have come to visit our school. Now, thanks to Intel, we've had the opportunity to share our ideas nationally. Thank you for your time. We will now open it up for questions.